So I see a lot of people working with shotguns as part of my job and also as part of my hobby. And sometimes I see them do some things with shotguns when it comes to loading and unloading those guns that lend me pause. So I thought I'd take a real quick opportunity to show you guys, I've got some dummy rounds here, how I load and unload a Remington 870. I also have here a empty Remington 870. So. I'm going to start at the beginning. Obviously, this is an empty gun, dummy rounds, educational purposes, guys. No rounds are going to get discharged. So hopefully YouTube doesn't lose their brain over this. But the first thing I'm going to do to load this gun is I'm going to close the action or I'm going to move the forend forward. Then I'm going to take a round, or in this case, since I'm demoing a dummy round, I'm going to hold it in my hand where I have multiple fingers on it. I don't want to hold it delicately. I want to hold it firmly with a bunch of hand on it. I'm going to push in this shell lifter here all the way and then with my thumb I'm going to cram it forward past the point where it clicks then I'm going to repeat that now this shotgun will hold six shells but I'm just going to load four because reasons maybe your shotgun holds four maybe holds five maybe holds six either way I'm going to do four so at this point, this gun is loaded. It is, if the safety is on in a condition that the police tend to call car safe or cruiser safe, with the safety off, it would be cruiser ready. No matter what, it's going to need to be chambered to go to work. And this is how I would store it in the car, in my closet if I was keeping it for social purposes, whatever. Some people say, oh, well, you can store it with a round in the chamber. I know the sling guy does that. He's thought about that long and hard, and anybody who says that is actually wrong. They're incorrect. God love them for thinking that. But these guns are not drop safe. They are not going to put up with any substantive abuse and I'm sure you're saying well I'll just never drop my gun okay that's cool I am going to store it just like this one of the skills that I think you need is to be able to get a gun from this condition to ready to shoot and then further to shoot in relatively rapid order so let's not go into that but nothing in the chamber this gun is ready to be deployed for work or for home defense. Now, maybe I want to unload it, and I've seen people just rack rounds through the gun. I don't recommend that, guys. One, these rounds, not just my dummies, but real rounds, are plastic and brass. So they're pretty delicate compared to, say, a rifle round or a pistol round. And if they get banged around a lot, they'll come loose. If you've got buckshot, you'll see some of the filling start to leak out or the buffer material. So I wanna be nice to these rounds too. Anytime I go racking rounds through this gun, I am upping the likelihood that this gun makes a real loud noise and puts a hole somewhere I don't want it. So the easy way to get rounds out of this without doing the racking into oblivion, hold the action bar release with your strong hand. With your support hand, take your thumb, push the shell lifter in all the way and then move the forend down and then you'll see that round will pop onto your hand, catch it with your thumb, pocket it, set it aside, put it in your side saddle, whatever you need to do. Now, if you look on the ejection port side of the gun, right at the base of that brass right there, there's a little tab or shell latch holding that brass in. I'll uh, post a picture so a uh, close up you can see it. Anyway, if I take my index finger and I just pinch that away from the brass, then that round will come out. Then I will continue each round until such a time as there are no more rounds. At this point, I'm going to visually and physically verify that this gun is empty and now I have successfully unloaded a Remington 870. The last thing I will do is the shell lifter. I'll push it back down so that the ejection port is clear. In a pinch, you can load these guns by if you need to in a hurry or a rush, dump a round in, close the action, and that's the fast way to chamber one round. It's not the fast way to load the gun if you're trying to get multiple rounds in it, obviously, because I have to single load one, shoot it, single load one, shoot it, but in a pinch and with some practice, you can be pretty fast at that. Uh, as a side, side, side note, if I have a round in the chamber and I do not wish to rack it forcefully out, I can hit that action bar release once again right there in front of the trigger guard, ease this back, and here's where I need to tag the guys 
for Van Comp, I think, because mine's a little sticky there, but I'm going to ease this back until the round pokes out no further. Then I'm going to just pluck that round out. Now, if I'm completely emptying the gun, I can just move this all the way to the rear, but if I want to put this round back in the magazine, I can move the forend no further back. I can just put it forward and then once again, reload that into the magazine tube. So that's the basics on loading, unloading, removing one from the chamber, and once again, if you need to, getting it back into the magazine tube. Guys, I hope this is helpful to you. Um, I'm not gonna make this video super long. I know one of my other shotgun videos was incredibly long, so I'm going to end this here. But if this has been helpful, do all those YouTube things. Guys, uh, I suspect my odds of ever being monetized are pretty friggin' low, but easy way to load and unload a Remington 870. Take care, stay safe. Get him, Jay.